So, YouTubers, I don't know where to begin. This is a little bit of a story. So, I had a mower about uh, 20, 30 years ago, a Victor. Um, Corvette, Victor Corvette something, two-stroke. Used it three or four times, died on me. So I cracked it, threw it in the backyard, the weeds grew over it, it sat there. And this has come out a couple of weekends ago. Started clearing out the back and uh, said, there's a lawnmower here. And I says, yeah, I remember that <laughs> bloody thing. So um, I pulled it out and I've done the job. I might show something on that a bit later if you're interested, but um, I was telling my son and he says, uh, oh, what are you doing with the old lawnmower? Well, here's the old one. It's a Rover. Mate gave it to me 20, 25 years ago. It's been a legend. Hasn't, hasn't missed a beat. But I'm the only one that can start it. So, prior to that, <laughs> What instigated all this, I got down there under the tarp an old uh, 68 HG Monaro. So I'm going to be clearing the big old garage because I'm a spray painter, panel beater, mechanic, do all the job. And that's going to be cleared out to get the Monaro in. So that's why we cleared out behind the Monaro and found the lawnmower. So I recode that, done everything. I'm a car guy, not a lawnmower guy. And I've done the job. And then I said to myself, okay, well, the son wants this lawnmower. He says, what are you doing with your old one? Does it still work? I says, yeah, it works. I says, I'm the only one that can start it though. It's got its little intricacies. And now I've come up and I found out why. <laughs> this is just the start of it. So if you want to see a little bit more about this and the old Monaro downstairs, which is coming into the garage shortly, this weekend I'm going to be clearing out the garage, throwing away a heap of stuff. But um, treasure to someone, but it's rubbish to me now, so it's so sad. So now I've got a vendetta on getting this one going good because it's going to the sun. So, here we are. So, with the uh, set that I just bought for the Victor, it came with a um, $35 kit. It came with... Um, I haven't even looked at this too close. But this is a four-stroke engine. It's a uh, Rover Combat. Quantum XE35, Briggs and Stratton motor, if that means anything to anybody, I have no idea. There's the model number and all the other Panera paraphernalia, which I haven't even looked at yet. The only thing I've done tonight is I've dragged it out of the shed because the other mower was absolutely beautiful, the Victor that I've just redone. I mean, it's a shitty old uh, lawnmower. I mean, how hard can it be? So I fixed the other one and yeah, it came up outstanding. So I thought I'll pull this one out and I'll have a look. But it uh, came with the uh, the kit, $35 kit from eBay to fix the uh, Victor. Came with uh, a spark plug, but it said four, four stroke. So this one is a four stroke. Even though they sold me two-stroke gear. So, we'll have a look at this monkey. It's a 19 mil, as you can see there. So, I just happened to notice that the plug that's coming out of this... it'll focus here we go it's a CJ8 now the one that come out of my other one is not that number 
But the one that came with the Victor kit had a CJ8, so I go, okay, I've got a brand new plug for it already. Now, I'll remind you, this thing has been used and abused for 20 years. I haven't looked at it. It's ugly. So you're going to see some ugliness coming out of this. I'll just forewarn you. So, there's that. The boot's still alive, still good, surprisingly. So I'm walking around it and I'm having a look at it and I go, oh, where do we start? Without looking at any research, doing anything, I went, oh, what's this thing here? Okay, so I'll take this off. So I'm unscrewing. I've already unscrewed this, just to let you know. So I've unscrewed it. I've had a look inside and lo and behold, oh, carbons behind there, there's an air filter. Well, I pulled the air filter out. There it is. I'm thinking, oh yeah, it's not so bad. First time ever of taking this off. Now, I'm a little ashamed of myself, but look at this air filter. Man. Man. <laughs> that is bad. You can see exactly where it fitted and the shape and the mold that goes into everything. That is bad. Bad, bad, bad. And I'm a stickler for cars, mate. Oh, I'm meticulous. I'm beautiful with it. But lawnmowers, really, I don't have any time for. You just pull, start your bastard and mow my lawn. Well, as you can see, that's mowed my lawn for the last 25 years. And there it is. So now it's going to get the revamp and if you're interested to have a look and know a little bit more, I don't know anything about this thing yet. I'll do my little research before the next video comes out. And following up to this, uh, the next thing is going to be the garage cleanup, which I'll show you on that, how I change from working on cars to having a garage, a man cave, and just drinking piss and you know getting a bit silly but now I've uh, got a vendetta the Monaro is my son's was mine now it's my son's and it's uh, pretty much rust free of three quarters of the way around the body the engine is a 179 HP it's been fully Rico it's got a four-speed Muncie box uh, Rico 3.08 diff center and I need to pull the subframe off and um, just have a look how it attaches the firewall and make sure there's no rust and everything. And I'm going to do the job. Brand new nut and bolt job. I'm, I'm a car guy. I'm a holding guy. So that's the way it's going to be. So there you have it. So next time I touch this thing, I'll try set this thing up on the tripod and um, we'll discover what this lawnmower is all about. Uh, stay tuned for the next one if you're interested. Thank you.